And look at who's over here. Tim Durkin, yes, the mayor's brother. But before she was mayor, I knew all about you. You were probably my favorite Instagram follow because you take these amazing photos of the moon, of the skyline. Thank you, thank you. But you've outdone yourself, Tim, as I move my fan from fan camp to your crutch because mm. a couple of months ago you got a very exciting offer to hang out with Pearl Jam because yep, yep. before CenturyLink is rocking tonight, last night, they were rocking safe go field. You've been oh, hanging out with Pearl absolutely. Jam for a couple of months as yeah. their behind the scenes photographer. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a, it's been a, a big honor. Uh, I got to meet, I was invited to hang out with Mike McCready yeah. and uh, the Pearl Jam front office team. So where did we get together? On the rooftop of the Space Needle where oh. I got to know Mike. Uh, we got to hang out and talk for about half an hour. And then that led to them uh, using a lot of my poster art for their uh, their right. advertisement, their posters. And in fact, my Space Needle picture is now on the front of a Pearl Jam picture. And all that uh, proceeds is going to charity, I mean, which is pretty cool. Come on, how cool is that? You're hanging out with Pearl Jam. Your photos are their logo now. You were there last night. We should say, by the way, you injured yourself on the job. You were doing some of your great work that you do documenting the homeless situation, which, of course, they're benefiting with the Pearl Jam yep, concert. Yep. So ironic that you hurt yourself, actually busted up your leg pretty Absolutely. good. So you're on crutches, yeah. but you still made it to the show last night. You got some amazing behind the scenes photos. What was it like in there? Because it was trending around the world. It was, uh, it was, it was now, it is now the most amazing concert I've ever seen in my life. You know, there was probably what, 45,000 people uh, yeah. packed into Safeco last night. Uh, I was one of uh, two or three photographers who had an all access pass. Uh, which is huge. I got to go backstage. I got to watch the band kind of fool around and relax a little bit as they were getting ready to go on. And then I got right to work. I got in the pit and that's where I stood for the next three hours, just yeah. getting pictures of uh, of Eddie Vedder, who uh, was really kind to me during the show. Yeah, I want to mention this yeah. real quick because you got these great photos we're looking at, but you also talked about some amazing moments like when Vedder got your attention from the stage. Yeah, it was, it's, you know, uh, when people tell you that they're just regular guys they're really not joking that much uh, at one point during the show Eddie got my attention he, he motioned me over to the edge of the stage where he he gave me his special white guitar pick and then pointed to a little girl in the audience so I ran over to the this, well I, I hobbled over to the uh, the little girl in the audience and gave her her pick to her very first Pearl Jam show and then uh, cool. later in the in the in the program Mike McCready made his way over to my edge of the stage and then motioned to me uh, about my cast which yeah. you see here and uh, asked how it was doing, which I thought was just a very humble thing to do in the middle of a song in front of 45,000 people. Right. So I love you guys. Yeah. Well, keep up the great work. You're going to be back. Pearl Jam's rocking again, a benefit show Friday supporting night. King County's homeless. Uh, they'll be back there tomorrow night. He'll be there. Where can folks see your photos? Uh, TimDurkin.com. Go check it out. Or you can go to uh, Pearl Jam's merchandise. A lot of that uh, uh, money proceeds goes to the yep. Vitology Foundation to fight homelessness.